Battle Lake Public School. In a town with just under 900 people, a graduating class of just over 30. Not much happens here. That was until our headphones started being stolen. And by May 20th, there had been 37 cases of stolen headphones. It's super uncool that people are stealing other headphones. I'm just, just, there's a dark corner in every space now. There's always something trying to bring me down in the day. I was lost. I did, I was hearing things that I didn't want to hear. And it was other people's words. So then I had to, I had to deal with it. This was no longer anything to bat an eye at. Once we realized that headphones were being stolen and that kids were losing their minds without their headphones, it became clear there had to be something done. With the administration doing a weak investigation, we decided to do our own. So here's the story of our investigation into the stolen headphones. The first thing we decided to do was interview the, all the victims. Please state your name and grade for the record. Karina Walbotney, 12th grade. I'm Ramon Lopez, 12th grade. I'm Abby Bellick, and I'm a junior. Uh, Marion Giroux, I'm a senior. Karina, when were your headphones stolen? Just last week. I lost my headphones April 4th. It was March 24th. Well, I was sitting in study hall and it came to my, uh, came to me that it was January 9th and I didn't have my earbuds. I had them on my desk and I was doing homework and I went up to sharpen my pencil and when I came back they were gone. How important are headphones in your everyday life? They're pretty important. I like to listen to music really loud in my ear. But if I don't have them, I can't listen to my music. And I'm still hurt from the loss of my earbuds. How bad do you want to see the uh, earbud thief caught? Oh, man. I hope you guys catch him before I do. Whoever is stealing these headphones, they have to stop. <laughs> After interviewing all the victims, there was one thing that was clear. All of them were devastated by their headphones being stolen. Our next step was to interview the administration. It took a while though, because they didn't want to cooperate with us with our investigation. We finally sat down with our 7th through 12th principal, Mr. Severson. Okay, let's get started. Will you please state your name and position? Uh, my name is Ryan Severson. I am the 7th 12th principal. And are you performing any sort of investigation into this? We are currently investigating this situation. Um, and that's about all I can say about it at this point, since the investigation is ongoing. The administration has nothing to do with, with the disappearance of any of the headphones. Uh, we are here doing our job, investigating the thefts uh, to the best of our ability. All right, thank you. Thank you. After interviewing Mr. Severson, we decided to reach out to our English teacher, Mrs. Hegum. Please state your name and job for the record. Uh, Shana Hegum, high school English teacher. Have any headphones been lost um, in your room or during your class? Uh, yes, there was one day where I had a student actually break down in class because their headphones were gone. To be honest, I think it's ridiculous how these kids are like falling apart because their headphones are gone. I mean, they're just, they're stupid headphones. They should be more focused on their books, their Chromebooks, the other like tools, pencils. I mean, for crying out loud, headphones, like do you really need that in class? Sorry, that's just a little, a little bit what I, what I feel about it. I take, I take offense to people thinking that the teachers would actually be behind this. I mean, we have better things to worry about. Again, headphones, that's just not, that's not something that I even care about. It was clear to see that both the administration and teachers 
did not feel bad about the stolen headphones. It was about this time we found another victim who had a compelling story. Please state your name and grade for the record. My name is R. Jailer. Um, I'm a senior here at Battle Lake High School. Why are you here, RJ? Because my headphones were stolen a while back and nothing's really been done about it. What type of headphones were they? They were these black Beats headphones, solo or something. They're wireless. They're just kind of my favorite. How much were they? Upwards of $200. I don't know for sure. I bought them a long time ago. Where were your headphones stolen? In the library. But what we needed was tangible evidence. We needed the security tapes showing his headphones being stolen. Is there any way that we could gain access to hallway video feed footage for the sake of our investigation? Uh, because of data privacy laws and regulation, I cannot allow you to see uh, any of our uh, school camera video footage. It was time for us to acquire the security footage by our own means. We're right outside the surveillance room and the administration is not going to let us see footage, so we're going to steal it on this jump drive. Let's go. Got it. We only have 30 seconds before the administration gets here, Rick. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Got it. Go, go, go. Ray, only 15 seconds into the administration. How much time on the download? We have 10 seconds. Make it quick. We got it. Let's go, let's go, before they get here. We had what we needed. We had the footage. As you can see, the library was completely empty. RJ enters, sits down, and sets down his beats. For the life of me, I can't even remember what I was in there for. But, I don't know, Maddie needed something, so I left him on the table. By the time he returned, his headphones were gone. And I came back, and they weren't there anymore. There were tears. Words can't describe. It was kind of awful. Once we had the camera footage, we were able to look at the exact time and place where RJ's headphones were stolen. What we found would change the course of our investigation. Unfortunately, the camera footage did not reveal any enticing information. That was until we took a closer look at what happened between when RJ left and when he returned. After he left, a mysterious hand covered the lens with a sticky note. When the sticky note is removed, the headphones were gone. So we took a closer look at the mysterious hand that covered the lens. When we slowed down the footage, we could see a ring this was our first clue, so we decided to run on it. We began going around, looking at different teachers' rings, seeing if any of them matched the ring in the video. Once again, our investigation brought us back to Mrs. Hengel. on a ring clue at the crime scene and we were wondering if we could take a picture of your hand. No, no thank you. When we approached Mrs. Hegum to ask her about her ring, she was not cooperative. No, no thank you. But it didn't stop us from game footage of her ring. 
At that point in our investigation, it was still unclear as to who covered the camera and who stole RJ's headphones. Then, we received a call. Hello? Just now? We'll be there. The call revealed that there had been another case of headphones stolen. My name is Thomas Himmelsbach, and I'm a sophomore in Battle Lake High School. My headphones were stolen in the social studies room. Who was the first person you told when your headphones were missing? You. So, since the administration is performing their own investigation into who stole the headphones, we're working very hard to find new clues. We recently got a tip from this classroom that a pair of headphones were stolen. Let's go find out how it's going down. Coast clear? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Okay, Thomas, show me where it happened. It happened over here. Thanks for letting us know first. We're gonna do an investigation. Of course. It was during our investigation of Thomas's headphones that we discovered our next clue. A lemon drop. A lemon drop might not seem significant, but in our school, only one person hands out lemon drops. And this clue would point us to one of our top suspects. There was only one thing we could do at that point. Go directly to the source. Are you aware that we are conducting our own investigation? I am now. Yes, I'm, I, I know that you're working behind the scenes. Um, are you aware of the most recent theft that took place? No. Yesterday afternoon, Thomas Himmelsbach had his headphones stolen in the social studies room, and we found some pretty convicting evidence. Do you know what that is? Yes. What is it? The lemon drop. Why is that significant? Well, I give them out in my classroom. So you're saying that lemon drop came from this room? Maybe. I mean, possibly. How many teachers hand out lemon drops? Um, besides myself, none that, I, that I'm aware of. Can you comment on what this lemon drop being at the crime scene may look like for your case? I don't think it means anything in terms of me. I mean... As I just said, I give them out to students, so like, it could be any of the students that I gave one to, I think. When did you say this happened? Yesterday? Yesterday afternoon. I definitely gave out a bunch of them yesterday to my seniors, the sophomores, there was MCA testing going on, so I, it's any of, who knows, 15, 20, 30, 30 kids. I don't think that that means it's me. So you're fully denying being present in the social studies room yesterday afternoon? Yes. You're fully denying stealing Thomas Hill's Fox headphones? Yes. Would you say that it's possible that with the administration's strict headphone policy, they may be stealing headphones as a way to enforce it? That's ridiculous. No, I mean, I, I don't even have to answer this, come on. What about teachers? Are teachers stealing headphones to enforce the rules? No. 
Please leave. This is ridiculous. Again, she was uncooperative. But she was right. A lemon drop at the scene doesn't make her guilty. But DNA evidence does. Good thing I had a favor to redeem from our forensics teacher. We got a swab of the lemon drop down to him right away, and it wasn't long before he gave us a call back. Hello? The results seem clear, Isaiah. The DNA definitely belongs to Shauna Hagen. Are we even now? That's just what we needed to hear, Mr. Marceau. Thank you. Sure enough, the DNA matched Mrs. Heckham. Now, we had two pieces of evidence stacked against Mrs. Heggum, the ring and the lemon drop. Things were finally coming together. We were finally finding clues and evidence pointing to Mrs. Heggum as the headphone thief. But that was when the administration caught wind of us accusing one of their teaching staff. What is going on in here? If I catch you guys doing any more snooping around or investigating, there's going to be a potential suspension, if not expulsion, with this deal. With a consequence on the line, if we didn't stop our investigation, we had to act fast. There was only one thing we could do to really find out if Mrs. Hagen was guilty. We need to find the stolen headphones. Right now, we are going to try and find some convicting evidence of Mrs. Hagum with the headphones. Right now, we're going to break in. Go, go. We don't have much time. We're Check the cabinet time. to the left. Okay. Uh, nothing. They're not here. No. Desk? Yeah, check the desk. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Anything? No. Oh, hey, hey. What, what? Headphones. No way. No are these way. Ian's? These are Ian's headphones. Get down, get down, get down. We caught you red-handed. What, what are you guys doing in here? These are Ian's headphones. We found them in your desk. Uh, no, they're, no, those are just mine. They're not yours. You stole them from Ian. Do you know what this means? You're a felon. Ugh, your silly little investigation isn't going to amount to anything in court. We have proof. We have Ian's headphones in your desk, a lemon drop on the scene, and your ring in the camera. I got it. That's right. You're going to jail. After our findings, the administration couldn't believe it. We cracked the case. We found out that Mrs. Hegum had stolen all 38 pairs of headphones. That was the end of the line for Mrs. Hegum. She was fired the next day. Furthermore, she was later tried for teacher negligence and convicted of a felony. It's safe to say that Mrs. Hegum won't be teaching any English classes soon. While it was sad to see that our high school English teacher was actually evil, it was exciting to see the look on the faces of the victims who got their headphones back. RJ, how long has it been since your headphones were stolen? It's been a couple weeks at this point, and I'm uh, just kind of giving up hope that they're ever going to show up. It's taken numerous, numerous hours, many weeks, even months. I think it's been four months since we've seen them last. They've been missing about a week. How hard has it been without your headphones? It's just kind of hard to focus and get stuff accomplished. Just kind of running through. How have you been handling that? Uh, the voices in my head keep getting louder because the music isn't there to drown them out and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. It makes me very sad. Well, I have some good news for you. Oh yeah? We found your headphones. Dude. <laughs> Look, we found. Wow! They're not even filled up with earwax. We found your headphones. Thank you. Do you know where we found them? Where? There was a stash in Mrs. Hegum's room. She had been stealing them since January. That doesn't surprise me at all. Mrs. Hegum hates headphones. I have a 
class with her. How did she get them? I don't know, but she's going to jail, Leah. Oh, you're taking care of her? Yep. Well, I'm happy. How happy are you to have your headphones back? Aw, oh, dude, this is awesome. I can finally be my normal self again. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you've done in returning my headphones. We accomplished what we set out to do. Find who was stealing the headphones and return the headphones to the victims. It feels good to have solved the case of the stolen headphones. Well, we did it. We caught who was stealing the headphones. I can't believe it's our English teacher. Seriously, that's crazy. Well, I guess it's on to the next project? I guess. All right. That's a wrap. So, dude, I can't believe we actually framed Hegem. I know. Way to plant that lemon drop. Uh, okay, that wasn't as good as the part where you made it look like her ring in the camera. Oh, that was easy Photoshop. Oh my gosh, it all came together. Like, she's going to prison. They think, they think she stole the headphones. Who should we frame next?